So hello guys, we're gonna continue. Uh, this is the second part of the health and damage system. We're gonna make a uh, death animation in this video. Death animation. Then we're gonna finish it off by creating a run system, a running and stamina system. It's pretty straightforward and easy. So you just can uh, follow along with the video. And some of you guys were mentioned about um, sections. So in this video and starting from now on i will make a section for each um part of the video so you can skip through parts and but i still suggest you to uh, watch the entire video because i think it's connected between all of the parts so yeah let's get started oh yeah this is the dirt animation i will provide the assets in the descriptions if you want to download it um, so the first thing you, you need to do is just go to BP Termination Collector and go to your variables and create a new variables. Let's call this is die. Okay. Then compile and set it to false by default. And then go to your viewport and click on your character and you can go to this anim class section. Just click on this um, search folder icon here. It will navigate you to this like uh, folder of the assets. But we do this in abp underscore many you just click on this uh you just uh click on the path icon here and then here you can um set it drag the character here and then you're gonna cast it to bp person character right click and convert to pure cast and then we can get this die and promote to verbal the same name okay make sure to put it in event blueprint update animation okay not in the initialized animation here i'm sorry and we're gonna go to anim grab and uh, make sure to compile it first and go to um main state um uh, okay so uh, we're gonna drag it over this and add a state let's call it that that <laughs> We have to dra uh, drag it from each of these nodes right here and double click on each um, line here you drag it is died do the same thing for bot two. just um drag is die and then on uh double click on that state and I search for our that animation right here just plug it into the result and then make sure that this is not a loop animation okay and there's no way back to locomotion land or to land if you already reached the dot it won't be going back to um all of the nodes okay so don't don't do this okay just make sure that this is one way um state <clears throat> so you can try to go to nm preview edit and it's that set it to true and then uh you you see the character is falling down and playing the animation and it won't looping it won't loop the animation okay this is what, what we want yeah. compile it again to make to reset it now we just go to go back to our third person character and go to our take the image um function then when it's um zero the health is zero we can set the is die to true okay and then we can um create a new event at custom event let's call it on die okay uh we can set this set this to true and then we can have a delay for example like three seconds then we already start to level execute command console command and name this restart level okay <clears throat> so go back on take damage on is that you're gonna change this to on die okay right here very easy now let's create the on screen effects um on die effect go to book preview ui right click on it and create a new wbp Let's call it WBP Diet Screen. Die screen. 
make a confess panel of it and let's fade in some black background okay so you're gonna plug in an image here just leave it at default but you can click on anchors and hold control on the keyboard and choose this one click this one now it's gonna be full screen let's make it black and the opacity should be a one for now and uh, in render opacity we set it to zero okay and then we create a new animation right here just click create plus uh, just click plus right here and let's name it fade in animation underscore animation okay so just click on it until it uh selected fade in animation blue uh screen right here gonna select our image and we're gonna uh, click plus on this under opacity at the keyframe then we're gonna drag in to let's say three seconds and then we set the render opacity to one again so it's gonna be fade in smoothly like this okay you can play around with this value if you want to but i'm gonna leave it for now compile it and go to grab graphs and drag in your foot animation and play animation drag it to even construct okay let's done go back to our 10 person character drag in off like that and create a widget of type wbp dash screen we are gonna add to viewport <coughs> we are gonna expand this here and make the zero to one if you want to this is not necessary though okay now we are good to go let's try it out our death animation and our death screen 80 60 40 20 and dies oh so if I'm playing the animation you should fix that go on back to our oh I'm sorry guys we should not put this node in uh, initialize animation instead we're gonna have plug it is in um, this can I create add pin and then just drag and drop it to our start animation convert to pure custom for getting okay make sure to put it in event blueprint update animation okay not in the initialized animation here i'm sorry let's try it one more time 80 60 14 20 and 10. now as you can see it died but you can move around okay you can still move the character when when it's playing the animation so we have to fix that first Look, I can move the character. This is not what we want, so we have to fix that. Go back into our third person character BP and on diet here, we just drag our character movement here and disable movement. So we're good to go. Now we have uh, we have finished the our that animation and our that screen as well. So we can continue to the next part, which is the um, run and stamina. So let's head back to our character and mini queens. So let's check for uh, um Kran walk. Okay, so we have both run and walking animation, so it's good. I'm gonna um go here and sorry, not this one. So there are many, many here. Um As you can see, the animation flows start from the idle of uh, like this little jog or little walk, slowly walk to the to running. Okay, so we can see that the walking speed is two hundred and thirty right here, while the running speed run speed is five hundred. So we gotta go back to our person character, and on character movement we can set the um set the where is it max walk speed to 250 for now okay 
<coughs> now the cartridge is working instead of running by default okay then we have to create an input for the running so here just go to third person and input action we can copy uh, ia underscore jump and let's call it ia underscore run or spring double click on it actually you don't have to double click on it just go to imc underscore default and click plus on this uh, set it to i underscore sprint and then you can search for a uh, lamp shift or you can actually just click on this little um keyboard icon and click uh just just click shift on the keyboard yeah that's it very easy then go back to our character on here we can um search for spring I think it's the top one. Yes, it's top one. On event started, uh, we can set the get get our character movement and set max walk speed to it to five hundred. Oh, I'm sorry, to five hundred. And uh, when it's um cancelled, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, this is very fucking bad. Yeah, when it cancelled, set back to 250. So we can try this out. So when the character, uh, when the player holds shift, the character will run. And when they release it, it will be slow again. Oh, sorry. Completed, I guess? Yeah. It's all completed, not uh, cancelled. Okay, so we have done the sprint and running. Uh, then we're gonna create a sp uh, stamina with regeneration. So it's pretty easy, I guess, and fast. Let's create two new variables inside our character blueprint. Let's call it current stamina of type float and then max stamina actually we create new more one more let's call this um regain uh, stamina regain break okay compile and then we can set the max stamina to 200 and stamina regenerate to let's say 10 a second then we create a new function let's call this um, take stamina where's one input here of type let's say value uh, we can set the current stamina of the current stamina subtracted by the value of this stamina, of this function let's climb it first remember to climb it before I'm um, set it to the variable. The minimum of zero and the maximum is our max stamina. Okay. So uh, then we can create a new function. Let's call this region stamina. Okay. Just copy and paste the same thing here. Instead, we don't have, uh, we don't need any inputs and we just have to um, add it by the stamina regenerate just like that now we're gonna go back to this event begin play on the end of this we just um call set timer my function name and we're gonna write uh f2 and copy it and paste it on this one or you can type it by yourself for time we're gonna set it to one and it, and it is looping yeah that's it so now we have to display our stamina head back to blueprint ui and player hot right here let's create another one let's position it in this i'm gonna set the color to blue i'm gonna rename this to pb underscore stamina bar 
gonna copy the text and paste it paste it on the screen like so to name it txt underscore extending go to our event graph and in event tick we just drag our pb underscore stamina bar and set percent of it just do the same thing as well for the um for the health but instead of getting current health and max health we just have to um <laughs> call for the um, current and max stamina so get current stamina and get max stamina just uh, divide it just plug it into the failing set our tax stamina like so so as you can see the stamina grows from zero to uh regenerate from zero to 200 so that, let's wait for it yeah it won't go any further than 200 and will not go below zero so we just have to create when it's running the stamina drains okay just go back to our reason crap and take the stamina here by one make it on ongoing think it's too fast so we can add a delay before doing it and let's set the current stamina to 50 by default so you can see like the stamina drains but it's still regenerating while the character is printing uh, that's not what we want so we're gonna go back to our um three stamina I'm gonna check it if it's printing or not. But actually, we don't have the um, sprint boolean. Just create it. It's printing of type boolean. So, and if it's not printing, okay. And on this, we just set the it's printing the true and to false just like that so when you run the stamina won't uh, increase and when you stop sprinting this is what we want right yeah i think it's all for the, for the tutorial we have created bots on the dead animation. Test it out again. Yeah, and some fade in animation. And running here. And our stepping region. Yeah, then that's it for the tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments or suggestions just feel free and let me know and i will see you in the next video guys bye bye